Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the Delta 4000's lead setup and test connections. Let's get started. Here we have the high voltage lead for the Delta 4000. It is 70 feet in length and comes with de several different termination types. The first is a hook for easy placement. The other is a clamp that varies its width depending on the device under test. Next, we have a smaller clamp that has a banana plug that actually can plug in to the previous clamp for smaller, tighter situations. And then finally, we have our, our tension relief, where your cable can actually feed through the collar of your high voltage lead to provide stress relief for the cable. Next, we have the measurement and ground leads. The Delta has two measurement leads, one red and one blue both 70 feet in length, and one ground lead that is 30 feet in length. The measurement leads seen at the bottom left in the red and blue are the old style of lead. We now have moved to a more rugged style of lead that's similar to the high voltage cable as seen here. Here we have an example of the Delta's 4000's power factor test set connections conducting a CHL test where the high voltage is applied to the high voltage bushings that has been shorted together indicated with the orange line and the high voltage indicated with the black line and arrow pointing to the high voltage bushings. The low voltage bushings have also been shorted together and you can see the red arrow from the control box to the low voltage bushings indicating your measurement. And you can also see that the Appropriate grounding has been in place where the test ground has been connected from the control unit to the transformer tank ground. In this scenario, we are applying high voltage to the high voltage bushing sides and taking the measurement on the low voltage bushings, giving us our measurement of our CHL. Here we have another example of the test connections from the Delta 4000 when performing a power factor measurement. In this case, we can see that primary delta windings and the secondary Y windings have been shorted together at their respective bushings. It is worth mentioning that if you have a Y winding with an accessible neutral, that it be disconnected from gro ground while performing the test. From the diagram, we can see the ground has been connected, the high voltage lead has been placed on the primary, and the measurement lead has been connected to the secondary. So similar to the previous diagram, this also shows the connections to perform a CHL measurement. This concludes the Delta 4000's lead setup and test connections. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.